Djibouti, the country people only recognize Djibouti. by name. Because it's synonymous with butt. Djibouti. Your booty or Djibouti. Where you come from? From your booty. <laughs> yeah. It's a tiny country, no bigger than New Jersey, that sits on the Horn of Africa along one of the world's most important waterways, the Red Sea. Djibouti. Can you tell I like saying the name? But what is this country all about? What is happening in this mysterious land? I'm just as curious as you are to find out. So I booked a few nights here to discover my 132nd country. Djibouti. This video is about my honest interpretation interpretations, realizations, and experiences in Djibouti. First impressions? French, French, Arabic, and more French. The capital, Djibouti City, has retained all of its French influence after being colonized by France in the 19th century. Everything feels like France. Like these baguettes, cheese, wine, the street names. Look, it's Marcel Street. The locals mostly speak French. Bonjour. Djibouti. But also Arabic and English, kind of like Morocco. Djibouti is good country. I quickly learned that Djibouti is not a touristy place at all, but for some strange reason, it has the most intense security I've ever seen. In the airport, on the street, in the mall, you are always being watched. You cannot walk one block in Djibouti without an intimidating armed policeman staring at you from head to toe. In fact, the security is so tight and uncomfortable. So I'm filming part of this video on my phone because I've already been stopped twice by the police for using my camera. What's even crazier for a non-touristic country is the very steep prices. Djibouti is the most expensive country I've visited in Africa and the top five most expensive in the world. It's, it's the most expensive country in Africa. My visa cost 90 bucks to get in. The cheapest private room I could find online yesterday was 105 bucks a night in Djibouti. This is what you get. Look how dirty the bathroom floor is. Ugh. Sitting down at a little French restaurant for lunch, just ordered some poisson, and nothing on this menu is cheaper than 17 bucks. In the supermarket, a chocolate bar is $12. A 15 minute taxi ride from the airport to my hotel was $35. In just 40 hours in Djibouti, I spent a whopping $424, and I wasn't balling out on anything. Why is this country so heavily securitized and expensive? I pondered this question for a while, until I finally realized that Djibouti is a hub for foreign military bases, as the US, France, Italy, Italy, Japan, and recently China all have massive facilities here. Their presence, combined with the rapid urbanization of this country, have caused prices to skyrocket, despite a quarter of Djibouti's one million residents living in extreme poverty. If you ask me, that is a problem. It has been a strange and unexpected experience in Djibouti, which I now call the most interesting country in Africa. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.